Today's topic, today's subject, U.S. rapper Money Sign Sway killed in prison at 22 years old, man. I'm coming in to give my commutation, my commutator on U.S. rapper Money Sign Sway, man, which was a Mexican Hispanic rapper signed to Atlantic Records, man. At 16, 17 years old, he'd been trying to put his music out here and get out here. He's a full blood Mexican. This is what I just got to talk about in my other video when I spoke on the crossover cultures and hip hop and hip hop opening doors and allowing other cultures to be able to express, you know, their music and express um, their form of their lifestyles as well, which is not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. What makes it only bad was when the cultures crossed over and for some reason, some parent reason or another, our language, our lingo got thrown in, in, in there and our language and lingo got accepted you know, or, or, or was, was really something that was broad and, and, and keyed in on and accepted. Mexicans, excuse me, Mexicans don't like to be called Mexicans, man. Ain't that some shit? You call a Mexican a Mexican. What's up, my man? Hey, Mexican or, or a Cholo. You call a Cholo Mexican? Watch to see what the reflection be in the difference. It's going to be a difference, bro. So it's like, why should we have to be so acceptance to any and every fucking thing, man, as a nation, as a, as a, African Asiatic nation, bro, not a black culture, not a black race. Why the fuck do we got to be so exceptions to any and everything? All the rest of the cultures play by certain rules and they still stick with their culture rules, man. They not all the way crossed over. Some are, but not the majority of rest of them. They still play by their rules and that don't make them a bad culture or make them bad. It's their culture. So this is what we on today, man. This kid right here, man. A U.S. rapper, man, Money Sign Sway. We're speaking on him today. He got killed and solid dead, right? And so, let's go to show you guys, man. When I when I when I speak on, you know, the difference between the streets, hip hop era, as far as this rap era of hip hop. See, man, although hip hop has came in and took control and has moderated, you know, uh, the streets in a, in a form in a way where the streets no longer um go by the rulings that they once set and the structure that they won't set that don't mean it, it all applies for everybody in the streets meaning the black culture the messing culture uh white skinheads somebody asked me was the skinheads a gang yes the skinheads is a gang it's an organization you know what i mean uh all these things above it doesn't exempt that what happens is it shows that there's still some politics in place, man. Especially when you get behind the walls, you go to prison. There's still some politics in place. If there wasn't politics in place, this would have never happened to this kid. This kid would have never got hit like he got hit. He would have never got blast on. This kid got blast on. And what you mean by blast, that's the terminological phrase. That's prison talk. I mean, get, getting hit with something, getting punched with something. He got hit. He got blast on. He got his, his final mark wound, the, the murder wound that really killed him and hit him out. Was his vein? He must have got hit in one of his jugglers or one of his veins, man, because he got hit in his neck, and that's what bled him out and killed him. Staff didn't find him till hours later. They found him hours later. See, these things happens in prison, nigga. You can come up missing an action in prison. They can kill you in a laundry room somewhere. They won't find you to count time. That's six or several hours later because you was at work. They can kill you in the kitchen somewhere and leave you, and leave you in one of them wash machines and one of them big ass dryers. You won't be found to count time. This shit happens, bro. You feel me? When real politics takes place in prison, man. So I want to read this, read what happened basically from CBS standpoint and from the um, the writer standpoint as far as the uh, the actual information that they obtained and the information that they provided to the public on what happened. I just told you the wounds that he sustained. The wounds he sustained were in prison. They were all knife wounds. He got hit like these, these 15 times. They say he got hit at least about 15 times. That he got stabbed. When I when I use the word hit, it's the same word, same terminology phrase as stabbing. He got stabbed, but I'm saying hit because that's the word that we would use in prison. They would say he, he was hit. And King King uh Fatal, 
King Fredo 092. See, this is what I'm talking about, bro. I appreciate you for paying attention. And you absolutely right. I say this all the time. It doesn't make us selfish or make us a bad culture or a bad nation because we trying to stay as a nation. We trying to stay, you know, Asiatic and keep certain things amongst ourselves and our culture so we can teach our kids and teach our culture to keep the keep the pattern going. No, we don't do that. But soon, soon a cat like myself come along to speak on it is real. I'm crazy or I'm talking crazy. You feel me? Or I'm angry. No, I'm just speaking facts, reality, man. So I appreciate that uh, response right there, King Fatal, uh, 0292. Appreciate it. So, yeah, let's go, man. Let's go. We're going to jump right in this, and I'm going to start reading this video, man, from U.S. rapper Money Sign Sway, killed in prison at age 22. Mexican-American rapper who was released, who released a popular debut album last year uh, was found with his injuries consistent with the homicide in California prison. So basically homicide said that his injuries that they found and were sustained were homicide, murder, foul play. Wasn't no accident, no none of that. You know what I'm saying? So. Say so right there. Uh, what's that clear, clear cut brother? You say right there are Chicano rappers who don't even like us, eight, us, Asiatic people. Hey, see, see what I'm talking about, man? My people, some of my people are woke. They ain't all blind, man. All y'all ain't blind and woke, and I appreciate you, man. So look, Money Sign Sway, a fast-rising Mexican-American star who, who amassed 10 millions of streams of his popular rap music, has been killed at 22 years old following an attack in California prison, Solidad Prison. Officials from the California Department of Corrections, remember I told y'all it's the difference between Department of Corrections and actual prisons. Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation said that the rapper real name, Jamie Bugato Valdez, died on Tuesday evening with injuries consistent with homicide. He was being held in prison in Solidad. He was in Solidad prison. So in Solidad prison, where since he was been held, where since January he had been serving a 32 year, 32 month sentence on gun charges. A lawyer for Valdez, Nicholas Rosenberg, told the L.A. Times that the officials had said Valdez had been stabbed and that investigations was underway. People are very shocked. Why? Why would people be shocked? I'll tell you why. Because they don't understand the politics. They don't understand that all the Mexicans and all the, the gangster Chicanos that still left on them yards is doing life still fall under them rules. They ain't on this new millennium shit, bro. They not on this new wave shit, bro. Like a lot of my brothers that's in there. They not on this new wave shit, homie. They not crossing over cultures, bro, and going to allow and be acceptance to a lot of shit. So this young kid apparently went in as a 22-year-old rapper, buzzing a name out here, and he was using the N-word in his music. I heard him say it. More than likely, his situation came from in-house. He had a problem with in-house. And what I mean by in-house, his own kind, his own people. They must have gave him with some structures, some structures and rules and told him that he's going to have to go by. And being that he was from this new generation and he's 22 years old, he probably rebelled and told them, fuck y'all, fuck that. I ain't going by this, this politics shit that, that y'all trying to tell me to be by, man. Blacks is my homies. I fucks with blacks. Them niggas is my homies. He probably went there, not understanding the situation he in. That means somebody didn't school this youngster and get at him before he hit that yard. That means he ain't never walked in no yard. He ain't never been in prison, obviously, because he didn't understand his own culture of politics. The only reason why this young kid can come up missing an action like that and come up hit that many times, it was done in-house. It had to be something in-house. And what I mean by in-house, his own kind, his own people. The yard is split up. It's broken up to 50-50 almost, practically. You got 50% Northanians, and what I mean by Northanians, Northern Mexicans, Northern Hispanic Mexicans, they bang from Northern California. They don't get along with Southern California Mexicans. Southern and Northern go to war. They go at it. I mean, on site, they goes at it. It's been this way for decades. So the yard is primarily split up. It's split in half with 50-50 Northanians and 50-50 Serenos. So you got South Sides and you got Northanian uh, Hispanic uh, Mexicans and uh, North, uh, Southern Hispanic Mexicans. So, oh shit, that's my battery. Okay, 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 let me hurry up. Let me hurry up, y'all. So, so therefore, um, you have to get consent. You know, you it's certain things in politics is gonna go down, man, with this. 
in order for anything to happen. So let me continue to read this real quick before I lose my battery over here on my YouTube. I need to get up right quick and plug it up. Um, so now it says um, his prison sentence was two counts of firearm possession of Riverside. Oh, no, no, let me go back. Valdez was born a Mexi Mexican immigrant. Straight Mexican immigrant. Not an American, Mexican immigrant. Valdez was born a Mexican immigrant. Parents was raised in the Huntington Park area of Los Angeles. I just own a condo out there. He began recording and uploading rap tracks from the age of 16. He was signed Atlantic Records while still in his teens. His breakthrough track back in the back, back to the bag, was a rap scene hit after his release in 2020. In 2020, he had a busy year. He released was a self-titled EP in March, followed his debut album. So the dude was putting in work. He was getting putting that work in, man. His prison sentence for two counts of firearm possession in Riverside County, California. He got caught up in Riverside. Roan County, brother. Roan County. Riverside County. Roan County. Orange County. Roan two counties to be committing some crimes upon the man. Rome counties to be getting caught up in. You feel me? So he got caught up in uh, Riverside County, was exhibited by uh, Valdez breaking parole, and also he violated his parole and earlier conviction when he served a 10-month sentence between 2020 and 2021. So he was doing a sentence and on parole, and they didn't catch him. So he had violated his parole. So at the time of his death, he was also facing another gun charge conviction from Los Angeles County Jail expected to serve another sentence so he was going to get booked again man before he got killed the younger was going to get booked again before he got killed man it's going to get booked again man so again tv land his death and his demise came based on politics within his own inner circle his own people straight up and i'm just telling you that from a veteran's perspective and coming from the streets as a real veteran and a real double og and knowing politics boy and knowing our shit see california is a whole different ball game different what different way see he wasn't down south in texas a texas rapper or a miami rapper mexican or a new york rapper mexican he was a california mexican rapper feel me and when he went into that situation two things either went down either they told him you're gonna fall up under the umbrella for protection and a story that we, we, we need to be paid. Or once again, like I said, the young and when it gets the grain told the OGs of that era and on that yard, man, fuck all that. Fuck y'all politics. Feel me? I ain't from this shit. I'm from the new generation, bro. And we do shit differently. The blacks and the Mexicans, we run together out here in the streets. Yeah, we say nigga to one another. And probably just violated himself altogether. And for by him doing that, it was curtains. Feel me? On that note, man, you've been struck by lightning bolt, man. You've been tapped in, you buzzed in, you tuned in, man. The ROE 2023, man. HTX Current News, man. Watch Satellite News, man. HTX Current News, watch Satellite News, man. I'm your host, Barney Hunter BJ, the brand. CEO Nino Cappuccino, man. It's been blessed, man, sitting here talking to you guys this Sunday. Anytime I wake up and I get on this internet, I get on this media, and cats and girls and women and guys and kings and queens, you buzz in and you tap in and you leave comments. That means God gave us breath in our body. He woke us up. He gave us another chance, man. It's always a blessing, man. It's a pleasure, man, when my folks tap in and tune in with me, man, the team cappuccinos, man. So, yeah, man, on that note, man, this has been my commentating, man, about what happened to the young and man, money sign, man, Sway. I just think young, uh, young money sign Sway got himself caught up into something that was way beyond him, way over his head. He didn't really understand the California politics because he was a born Mexican native. He was born, you know, in Mexico. He was a born Mexican native. He wasn't born on the soils of the United States. And he wasn't raised, obviously, in the street streets of politics to understand the politics. He had to be, man, because at 22 years old, if you were really raised in it, he would know better. And he would know his politics and he would know his limits. So it has the reason why there was foul play in his case, he had to be. It was some form of violation, some form of violation. That's the only way how this young kid could have came up getting killed like that. Because if another race would have hit him, or let's just say, for example, before I go, let's say the Northanians decide they want to put a move on him because he had a name and they know that would have bought bounty points for them to kill a, a, a Southern, uh, you know, Hispanic cat from that side who got a name and he's a known rapper. 
then it would have been an all-out war inside of that prison right now, still going on right now. It would have been an all-out war with the Northanians and the uh, Serenos. It would have been an all-out war, man, straight up. So this is what lead me to believe from a veteran perspective that, you know, it was in-house. It, it had something to do with his own kind, his own people, because that was the only way he can get knocked down. Can't no black just walk up and hit him and kill this kid. Can't no white boy skinhead walk up and just kill this kid. Feel me? So it had to be his own kind, bro. On that note, man, you've been tapped in, man. You've been buzzed in, man, to ROE 2023, man. Go push that like, share, subscribe button. Go tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody or tell a friend to tell a friend. Or just say you one of my haters, man, and you one of them niggas over here to subscribe with a fake page, no picture. And it's cool. I need you to stay here, man. Stay right where you at, man, because it's you type of people that are anting up my numbers, man. <laughs> so I need y'all to stay right where you at. Don't leave. Don't move, man. Keep leaving them negative comments. It's okay. It's all